Hi, my name is Steph Michael Brunsis from Brock Solutions. In this latest vlog, we're going to introduce you to a growing part of our business, something we call engineering as a service. But before explaining how our customers are using it, it probably makes sense to share a little bit of a history of how we got here. When it comes to mind software, the world is really adapted. Where it used to be purchased as a physical asset, like a floppy disk, it would typically be implemented on premise, there was a one time cost. The world has really evolved into adopting software as a service or a SaaS model. And since then, we all use SaaS likely every day, whether it's for our personal use or business, maybe it's both. So let's take a practical example like email. If any of us have ever needed an email address, we go to Gmail. All we need to do is sign up and use it, and Google worries about the rest. They worry about the data centers, the application, making sure all the networking is in place, the infrastructure, the servers, developing and maintaining the application itself. That's all their worries. We don't worry about anything. We sign up, we have email. Why did the world go this way? Well, if we use the Gmail example, there are a couple of main reasons. Number one, it's all about speed. I'm using software in minutes, not weeks or months. We only need to use what we need and nothing ancillary. The technology is based on something that can be leveraged and there's no hassle. There are no weird fees, no maintenance. It's typically based on a subscription model, and because it's in the cloud, it can be accessed anywhere. SaaS isn't new to manufacturers either. They've been there for a while, whether in the way they buy and use business systems, IoT software, quality systems. We even see some of our customers use the SaaS model in MES and operational systems. As the SaaS model continues to mature, we're hearing the same desire to buy and use our engineering as a service. In the old days, manufacturers used to buy engineering services in big monolithic programs, spending millions of dollars of capital on software rollout projects. Well, those days are over. Why? Our customers' businesses are changing at lightning speed and any digital technology needs to be in the hands of operations quickly. Like SaaS, our engineering as a service model has a couple of key hallmarks. First, you buy only what you need. There's a problem that needs solving surgically, and this model is designed around getting to value quickly. The services are managed by Brock with no hassle or added burden on our clients. It's all about agile implementation, get to the heart of a solution quickly so that the plant can use it to solve problems. This approach is cost effective, especially in the time of COVID, when cash outlays need to be managed more closely. And with this approach, we can all go faster. We can quickly pivot where we need to, to get the solutions in the hands of users faster. And like the hallmarks of SaaS, it's all about leveraging Brock's expertise, our infrastructure, applications, development. In other words, we hit the ground running. At the end of the day, the beating heart of this approach is value. It allows us to set our sights on generating value quickly for our customers. Probably the best way to explain how this works is through an example. One of our customers that's transitioned from a project-based model to an engineering as a service model is a customer called Brembo. They are a brake system manufacturer with production all around the world, thousands of employees, and they produce those awesome red calipers and brake systems you see out there. They had a big challenge a couple of years ago. Their plants had a variety of systems. They were disconnected. And like many plants, Excel was the weapon of choice. What they needed was visibility into ops, a way of connecting all these sources to focus on finding problem areas and giving their operators the tools and the information they needed to do something about it. With Brock and using the implementation of a product called ThingWorks, they put the tools in the hands of their operators, their supervisors, data scientists, etc., to get the visibility they needed to quickly make decisions, produce more effectively, reduce their scrap, improve their throughput. 
now they have a single source of truth for metrics like OE. They can cast a net around causes of scrap and trigger notifications. They can see which machines are historically holding up production and they can address all that. Our work with Brembo started with a traditional commercial model using a waterfall methodology. That worked well for a while, but Brembo's business needs changed really quickly. And as the solution got in the hands of their operators, even more valuable requirements emerged. That traditional model wasn't nimble enough to get us to the value quickly. So in came the engineering as a service model. Rather than having 15 individual project scopes to manage over a year, we moved to a subscription model for a monthly fee we can not only deliver the solution quickly, but we can pivot the minute we heard there was even more value to drive. It took the hassle out of Brembo's hands too. They didn't have to worry about managing individual project scopes and debating what was in and out. They just pointed our team to where the value was and off we'd go. We can do this because we have the size and mix of skill sets required to deliver digital solutions. Sometimes it means leaning on an automation resource, a software resource, a continuous improvement expert, an ERP integration expert. Brock brings in all these different subject matter experts with no hassle or extra expense. At the end of the day, it allows us to do more for less. So that was a short glimpse of this model and an explanation of where it fits for some of our customers. If you'd like to learn more, please don't hesitate to reach out through our website or our social channels. We've got plenty of examples to share and we'd be happy to continue the discussion.